um, the house, I suppose, the design is um, inspired by the by the site itself, um, with the two lakes and the the rolling drumlins of of the of Cavan, and um, the concept of the design is that there's three vernacular blocks um, with the garage to the north and the entrance from the, from the northeast, and then we have a two-story block in the middle that that forms forms the entrance block, and then we have a single-story block to the south where all the living spaces are to maximise the light from the east in the morning to the south, um, to the views of the lakes and then the, the evening sun in the west. That's the concept of the design. We took the client's brief and there was probably challenges in relation to what they wanted in terms of how then the, the house itself uh, blended into the landscape. Um, there probably was challenges from a thermal point of view which um, ecological systems would have worked with us on in terms of energy efficiency and how the, uh, the, how the build would work thermally. So there was a lot of difficult junctions to overcome with that. The windows that we spec'd or Nile spec'd on the, this job were our Aura Plus range, which is our kind of a modern look window. Uh, it's got a, it's like a chamfer finish inside, nice square finish. The triple glazed alu-clad window, it has a 52 mil unit, argon filled. Uh, Nile's U values come in on this house, I think around 0.8 overall. The colours he went with, he, he went with a pine finish on the window inside and uh, a nice anthracite kind of grey look on the on the outside. We'd given him options of 150 colours and that's, this is the two he came back to was with. There was challenges that I heard about, but uh, Niall and Fergal had crossed all these bridges by the time uh, I was introduced. And uh, he, we, cha- we did chat about and met for coffee how we were going to support sliders and floor to ceiling windows. So we went with the Bozic board and came up with a design because we were sitting on a passive slab so we just needed something solid to sit on. So when it came to measuring, all our homework was done, preparation was done, and it was just a matter of measuring it, minus for the board, and everything just ran really smooth then after that. The Bosic board was uh, used for uh, a support to sit the window on, underneath, because uh, we just couldn't sit on the on the slab itself. We, we would normally use it like a hardwood timber, but on this we used the Bosic board, and it's something I'm actually trying to push that we'll start to use down the line again, because, uh, I think uh, price-wise, it just it came in around the same, but it, it just it's a it's a, a better product overall, I think, and it was just to take the weight of the sliders and anything that was sitting on the slab like that. So the MVHR system in Niles House is a Brink Renovant Excellent 450 machine. It's uh, it's been installed with the Ubink Air Excellent system ducting, and the the two systems are from sister companies that work together to to create this MVHR system. The machine that we've spec'd is a 400, excellent 450, and the 450 is the meters cubed per hour that the machine can do. So up on sizing uh, the house, we uh, estimated that it would require roughly 220 meters cubed of air. So we decided to put in the 450 machine, which allows the the, the unit to run at roughly 50 or just under 50% of its maximum capacity. That means he'll get enough uh, fresh air through the, through the house um, is required, but also allows the machine to ramp up to uh, a, a much higher level should it need to. Maybe, for example, if somebody's in the shower, if they're having a bath, or if there's a birthday party and there's more people in the house so that we can get uh, greater air changes. The unit itself is bringing in fresh uh, outside air, and obviously you can see around here there's gonna be plenty of that coming through the machine. The added benefits of it as well is it's coming through the uh, filters, so I'm sure now I'll be going for pollen filters um, and the, the F7 filter within that. That's going to filter out any of the, the pollen or pollutants within the air coming into the house. So they'll, they'll have all those added benefits. What he can do as well is upgrade into carbon filters. We have a carbon filter system now available for these machines. So they'll help filter any smells from any uh, nearby farms and uh, silage, for example, in this area out. So they'll notice that within the house too. The units all come incorporated with summer bypass. So in the in the summertime, if there's solar gain on the house, you have the ability then to dump the warm air from the house outside and bring in ambient air from outside back into the house. So kind of like a, a, a cooling system, if you will, uh, into the house. Similar to opening a window, but still the added benefits of going through the filters and uh, keeping the house secured. No windows are being left over open overnight. The ducting systems, uh, they, they vary from house to house in terms of complexity. Uh, as Niall said, um, said to me it was breaking through from from one side of the house into the vaulted ceiling was the most complex part how we design our system is when we are uh, sizing the machines we work out which duct runs need to be double piped we will then speak with the install team on site and it's it very much is uh, an on-site kind of job we work out where 
we need to get a single pipe run to and where we need to get double pipe runs to and it's down to the installer to get it through as smoothly as possible. The big thing with uh, any ventilation system is reducing barriers to the airflow coming through. So we can go into great detail on these drawings and we have done in the past, however, you come up against obstacles on site that are not necessarily in a drawing. So we like to make sure that it's keeping it as smooth as possible and giving then the installer that flexibility to work around. We then come and double check all the work before anything's sealed up. Thank you.